So the App Store recently put out this article saying that these are essential iPad games, games that you have to play if you're an iPad user. What I'm gonna be doing today is taking a look at all of these games and letting you know if I think they are actually essential or not. I'll be dropping them on a tier list, grading them, and let's see which ones you should actually play, according to me. First on today's list is Roblox, and of course Roblox is an essential game. This one gives you creativity to create anything that you want. People could play your games or you could just go play things that have already been created. This is one of the largest mobile games that's out in the scene, meaning it has one of the largest followings. People have been playing this one for years, and it's well worth it. With that being said, I have to give Roblox an S tier. Genshin Impact is next, and this is one of my favorite gotcha style ARPG style games out in the market. I think it's a beautiful game filled with action, endless hours of gameplay, and it all can be done for free if you want to do it that way. Uh, this, the mechanics inside of the game are super fun. I think they really do it better than any other in the genre, and that's why it's probably the leader at this point in time. With all this being said, I have to go ahead and give this one an S tier as well. Next, we have Star Trek Fleet Command, and this one is all right. It's essentially a kingdom builder up in the sky set in a Star Trek universe. And if you're into kingdom builders, there are better kingdom builders out there. If you're into Star Trek, well, there's maybe better Star Trek games out there as well. It's still fun because if you are someone that is a Star Trek fan and a kingdom builder fan, this one's right up your alley. But if you're not, you may be missing something. So with all that being said, I'm gonna go and give this one a B tier. Next up, we have State of Survival. And I'll say, we're talking about Kingdom Builders. This one is one that's done very well. One of the more popular ones in the genre, but definitely not one of my favorite. But with that being said, it is still done really well. It just lacks some features that I like to see in my Kingdom Builders. But with all this being said, the community here is massive. The game's been around forever and it does what a kingdom builder is supposed to do. What it lacks is free world movement. That's what I think it needs to be just a better game. The heroes inside of the game are really great and fun to upgrade, and it's just overall a really nice kingdom builder. I'm gonna give State of Survival for kingdom builders an A tier. Next up, we have Candy Crush. Now, Candy Crush is the puzzle game that's been around for a very long time, since the beginning of puzzle games here on mobile, and it's done extremely well. People actually uh, fall in love with and get addicted to Candy Crush. With that being said, it's a super casual game. Also, with that being said, it looks really nice. It's super addicting, and it keeps you involved inside of the game, wants you to play more and more. The progression is fun, the game is casual, and it's a good time absorber. So for someone that's looking for a puzzle style game that wants something casual, Candy Crush is a great option for you. I'm gonna go ahead and give it an A tier. Now we have Cookie Run Kingdom. This one is your RPG style game with some endless runner elements to it as well. It's a really cute game, super fun, addicting if you like the RPG style gameplay. And it's one that's just casual, fun, and okay. I can't give this one anything higher than a B for today's list. Next, we have Minecraft, one of the biggest games of all time, right up there with Roblox. And of course, there is a mobile edition of it as well, which is, I think, number one in the charts for simulation style games. This is not a free to download game. It does have a small price tag, but it is a Minecraft experience on mobile and a very good one at that. I've played on both PC as well as playing on mobile, and I like both of them. But if you want to get into Minecraft and you want to do it on mobile, this is a fantastic option. This one also is deserving of an S tier score. What games would you consider? Do you think need to be on the essential list? What games would you recommend that I go play right now? And now we have Clash of Clans. Clash of Clans has been around for 10 years and for seven of those 10 years, I was actually making videos on this channel for Clash of Clans. This game is one of the best mobile games in my opinion of all time. In this game, you're gonna be building up your empire and you're gonna be attacking other people's empires in wars, in farming attacks, and your goal is to be as strong as possible. Use strategy in your base designing as well as in your attack strategies. Clash of Clans is going nowhere. There are million dollar tournaments going on in the esports scene right now for Clash, and there are many more years to come. So if you're looking for a fun strategy game, this is a great one to spend time playing. And time for the score. Obviously, we're giving Clash of Clans an S tier. Rise of Kingdoms, another game that I've spent years playing, but this is a Kingdom Builder style strategy game, which could be a bit more brutal 
than a strategy game like Clash of Clans. In Rise of Kingdoms, you're going to be building up your civilization, joining an alliance, trying to protect one another, and take what you want from your opponents. Inside of this game, you can spend quite a bit of money to build up your civilization and all of your troops, but that's an investment that you have to be willing to make if you want to be one of the top dogs inside of the game. Not that you can't play for free, because of course you can. Now, this, in my opinion, as of right now, is the best Kingdom Builder. But we do have Call of Dragons coming right around the corner. Now, Call of Dragons could take the title as being the number one Kingdom Builder, but for now, it goes to Rise of Kingdoms. So, as a Kingdom Builder, Rise of Kingdoms is going to get itself an S tier. Next up, we have Marvel Strike Force, another RPG-style game set in the Marvel Universe. This one has some amazing graphics, especially if you're someone that's into the whole Marvel character scene. As far as an RPG goes, it does a really nice job. Graphics as well as the upgrade progression. It's one of the juggernauts in the space, and in my opinion, one of the better ones overall. So if I were to sit and grade this one as an RPG, I would go ahead and give it an S tier. And I think that a lot of people would have to agree right there. It really is a solid experience as an RPG. And Marvel Strike Force's direct competition would be something like Raid Shadow Legends. Now, Raid Shadow Legends had all those ad campaigns that really threw a lot of hate on top of the game. But with that being said, it is a really fun game. It has some nice upgrade progression as well. You can spend quite a bit of money inside of this game if you want to max out your account, and it'll take some time as well. But overall, I think it is a really solid experience. It's tough for me to judge if I'd rather dive into Raid or if I'd rather dive into Marvel Strike Force. That really depends on who you are as a player and what you like as far as graphics go, if you're into the Marvel scene or not. This is another really nice one. I could go between an S or an A tier for RPGs. I'll go ahead though and give it an A. And of course, another Supercell game, Clash Royale. Clash Royale is a game that I'm currently playing every single day and I'm just addicted to the gameplay. It's just so much fun. I played for years, put it down for a while, but now I'm back. I'm actually putting videos for Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, and Brawl Stars on my new Echo Brawl channel. You can go check it out. I'll throw it up on the screen or something so you could find it right now. But this game is super fun. Another strategy style game done by Supercell so you know it's done right. I gotta go ahead and give this one an S tier. It is very well deserving. And it's funny that three of the games that they're recommending are the three mobile games that I play on that channel, Echo Brawl. Brawl Stars is another amazing game that is a three-person top-down brawler that is objective-based, tons of different game modes to play in, tons of support by the developer, and the game is smooth as pie. You could kind of expect that from any game that you're playing from Supercell. It would be really hard for me to go ahead and tell you that I would rather play Brawl Stars over Clash Royale, over Clash of Clans. They all bring you something different. They're all super fun. And that's why I do play all of them on that other channel. But with this one, you got to go ahead and give it an S tier as well. All of the games are on the eSports scene where you could win a ton of money from playing this game if you become a pro player. Absolutely love Brawl Stars. Make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out on my recommendations that I bring you every single day.